Hello everyone, my name is Otubo and today I'm showing you guys how to edit and make your own vest textures and textures in general in GTA 5. So just before we get started, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please sort of subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated and please watch towards the end of the video because that would be greatly appreciated. We are trying to get to that 4k hours of watch time. We have hit that 1k goal which is absolutely amazing. We're now onto 1.1k so I really do appreciate the continued love and support. But if you could watch towards the end of the video and help out getting to 4k because as soon as you hit 4k watch time when we're getting that money, that monetization, in that partner program i will be doing a gift card giveaway make sure you guys stick around for that on the channel but before we get started making any liveries i'm going to be telling you guys you do need some software now a lot of you guys who are running windows you're probably more or less already going to have this you can use paint 3d or the infamous paint this is an option that i would not recommend but if you don't want to install anything then these are the options you have but if you do want to install some stuff I'd recommend installing Paint.net unless you're rich enough and lucky enough, obviously, to have Photoshop. Unless you've, you know, pirated it or ripped it off, whatever you, whatever you do to get your Photoshop. You have Photoshop. You can also use that. Pretty much any single photo editor that you can drag and drop photos into and edit. That's what you can use. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit vest textures. But this is pretty much the exact same thing for editing any other texture. You know how to edit vest textures. You'll know how to edit car textures. It's pretty much the exact same thing but obviously you guys are going to need some vests or some clothes you already know you want to edit so i'd recommend editing eup clothes much easier and if you do want to upload them on the lspfr website it is much easier and it is the thing that most people use so as always bring up your open iv navigate to windows start it all up shouldn't take too long whatsoever nothing new but when it is started up here you are going to obviously navigate to your dlc packs to rpf so mods update x64 dlc packs and then go into your eup if you are using eup like a recommended or if you're not you can find your uniforms that you are editing obviously if you have it already in a download folder and you do not have to navigate to it navigate to it because you haven't installed it yet you can do it that way but it is much easier if you do it this way so go into your eup folder eup components paired to rpf unless you're editing a cap or a hat or glasses which will be inside of the p because it stands for props and props is what the characters wear so most of my vests are going to be in this one right here in the npm free mode zero one or they're in this one down here the npm vinewood i'm going to go in vinewood because i believe this is where most of them are and then i'm going to look for the vest that i want to edit so you're going to have to look through these drawable dictionaries and this is basically going to be showing you guys what the vest looks like and this is going to be the vest that i want to edit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find task04 underscore you and I'm going to go right down to the bottom and you want to find that guy right here. And it's going to be having an A instead of the U. Don't know why, it is just how it works when it comes to textures. Make sure in edit mode, right click and edit. And right here you're going to see this big ass confusing thing. Some vests will have something that is nowhere near as confusing as this. If you guys are wondering what the text is in the background, that's just a watermark. So obviously you can't claim it as your own. And the creator of it called Hanako knows that it is his vest that you've retextured. So now you have this. What you guys are going to want to do is drag and drop this kind of picture, I guess you could say, onto your desktop. Insufficient. Wow, that, that, that is how you know I have absolutely no room on my desktop. So let me quickly let me quickly clear up some room for a minute. This is why I have a corrupt video file, which is 14 gigabytes. There we go. So now I should be able to at least drag and drop an image onto my thing, onto my desktop. That is absolutely embarrassing. So once you've done that, keep your OpenIV open. Keep it open. You don't need to close out of it. Keep it open and it is much easier. Now bring up your paint.net, which is what I recommend using, or your paint 3D or Photoshop or whatever image editor you are using. Bring that up. Black document and just drag and drop this in to your paint.net or whatever you're using. You're going to pretty much get the exact same thing you saw on this photo. And if you guys do not have this thing here, if you have original size toggle, that's what it will look like. That is why your textures might look a little bit different and you might not get a full range view, but it'll still do the exact same thing. So when you've got it in your video for editor, your photo editor even, you'll be able to see, you can pretty much make out what most of the things are. So what I want to do is I'm going to be changing this vest right here in to a UK one. Pretty much all I'm going to want to do in today's video is I want to change this little medic sign because you wouldn't have that on a UK vest. And I want to change this police sign, obviously, because 
I want to have it a blue background instead of a black background and make it just that little bit more realistic. If you really wanted to, you can change the Motorola things. We're just making you guys aware. If you put something that is a little bit bigger, it's going to mess up all the other stuff around it. Because it pretty much builds stuff on top of each other, on top of the 3D models, if that makes sense. So, what you guys are going to want to do is bring up your Internet Explorer or anything like that. And obviously then, you can grab some photos off the internet. Yes, you can copy and paste any photo and it will go on the vest and it will not look bad. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I literally just want to search the Metropolitan Police logo. So I'm going to grab the police logo. I would recommend making sure if you are using a logo that it is a PNG image. So I'm going to grab this one right here to know if it's a PNG image. Basically, you want to find one which has a transparent background like this. Copy the image, bring up your paint.net, whatever you're using. And now you want to make sure you're going to add a new layer. So click plus on the new layer. Photoshop is very, very similar to this and pretty much any other photo editor is similar to this. I'm going to move that over to the side and then what I'm going to want to do is I'm literally just going to get a black box here and I'm going to draw a nice little black box over the top of this guy right here. And then I'm going to grab my color picker and I'm going to grab the nearest color to it. Obviously making sure I'm on the background texture where the image is, otherwise it's going to give you guys a little transparency background thing. I'm going to grab the color and I'm literally just going to fill it in like that. So go back to your layer two, you can press control and deselect to get rid of that. And there you go. It's pretty much gone. Looks pretty invisible now. And what I am going to do now is I'm going to grab my image, which I copied. I'm going to control V it in and there you go. Transparent background. If it hasn't got a transparent background, make sure you are not on the original layer. Make sure you are on your new one. I'm going to minimize that. And that should do me about there. I'm going to just put it where the other logo was. There you guys go. And if you guys are wondering what the vest textures I am using are, they're going to be Hanako's vest earpiece EUP pack. And control and deselect that. And there you go. That is now on my EUP. And the next thing on my list to do is this thing right down here. Is I'm going to grab my box yet again. I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to grab a blue. A nice shade of blue that I think you are more unlikely to use in a Metropolitan Police. That is about right here. I'm going to literally just grab this whole box. I'm not going to grab it all. I want to leave a little bit of a black outside so it doesn't look too stupid. That will do me about there. I'm going to grab my paint bucket. Pretty much like making a good old paint 3D or paint.net in school when you were bored. Control and deselect that. You can now, I'm going to put here is text. You can literally put whatever text you want. So what I'm going to do is I like to do it, add a little bit of personalization. I'm going to change my text font. I'm going to change it to this guy right here. I'm going to make it bold. And I like to change my size of the font. I like to change it to 144 normally. Normally that's about the right size. I'm going to change the text down to police. Obviously it's going to be the same colors. You drag and drop it into that box. It's going to disappear. Hit the little corner thing here the swap colors key and i'll make it white which is awesome and then obviously you can change it to black yellow whatever color you want to make it i'm going to move that over i'm going to center it but i'm going to move it a little bit above because i want to put something else below it i'm literally going to put my channel name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get another text just click below it here i'm going to write highway trooper there we go Gonna move that over here. I'm gonna change my text size. Cool thing about Paint 3D, Paint.net even, not Paint 3D, unless you are using it, is you can change the font size without having to highlight it, which makes life 10 times easier. So I'm gonna make it size 22. That's about right for me. And I'm literally just gonna slap it underneath here. I don't want it too big, I don't want it too small, just visible enough in the game. And now a lot of you guys will be wondering if you can change body cams. You can see here you have a bunch of different taser textures. So what is visible? In the taser and off the taser when it's in the pouch yes you can change that but how it is going to work is when you put a image on top of this taser so if i was to put something stupid on top of this taser say if i was to just put a big blue image on top of the taser what it'll do is it'll wrap the image around the 3d model so if you do want to get a taser you need to make sure it is the exact same size almost the exact same model so it does wrap around the 3d model of it and obviously Changing the 3D image is a completely different thing. If you guys can make out on the vest that you are editing, if it is slightly different to this, 
This vest is a little bit confusing when it comes to changing textures. If you can make out where the front of it is and the back of it is and the sides of it, you can see right here that this is going to be either the back or the front. This is going to be the back here actually. And then this is going to be the sides of the vest which come around your which come around your waist. These two guys right here and this is going to be the top underarm part of the vest. If you really wanted to, you could slap your name on the top of here and this is going to be the front right here. And pretty much, that is how you do it. And down by here, you can see where the Axon body cam is. You can change the color of that. You can change this guy to a yellow Axon body cam or maybe to a different body cam completely as long as it will correctly wrap around the texture. So there we go. Once you've had all of this sorted out, what you guys are going to want to do is head up to here in the top left hand corner, file, save as, I'm going to bring up your file explorer and you want to save this as a PNG. And I'm going to save it. It's going to save to my desktop and click OK. It's going to ask you to flatten. Make sure you flatten it and make it one layer. Minimize out your Paint 3D or whatever your Paint.net, whatever you're using. Bring up your OpenIV again. That's why I told you guys not to close it. And where we had and saved that PNG image, if you can find it on my desktop here, is this is it going to be? If this is it going to be right here, I believe. There it is. Simply just drag and drop that into this little texture editor. Click OK and save. And now you can go into your drawable dictionary once that saves. Go into your drawable dictionary. You should be able to see that right here, this is replaced now with a Metropolitan logo. And flip it around. There you guys go. Police and Highway Trooper on the back. So this is the exact same way for editing any other vest. I'll show you guys another vest that I edited at some later date. This is another guy right here. Edited this. I got my channel name right here. I got a different logo badge tactical firearms unit that is pretty much how you edit any vest and if you guys do find this video useful i will also make in a separate video on how to make how to make and edit vehicle textures so if you guys do find this video useful make sure you guys comment down below and like it and that video will be out very very soon so i hope you guys did find this video useful if you did please be sure to comment down below how you found it useful if you didn't and you are stuck somewhere comment down below yet again and I will try to respond to your comment, either linking to you to my Discord, or if it's an easy fix and an easy thing to explain in the comment section below, I will do so. If this video gets tons and tons of views, obviously I can't control if it does. Quite a lot of my videos do go a little bit crazy sometimes, and it is really difficult to respond to comments. So if I do not heart your comment or I do not respond back to you, I do apologize, as I will be getting a bunch of other comments on other videos since I hit 1,000 subscribers. The comments have been flooding in, especially on my Discord. I repeat, guys, please do not join my Discord server and then directly DM me. You're more than likely to get blocked because I get tons of them and I really don't want to close my DMs because I really want to keep them open for guys who just want to talk to me, say hello. So please do not abuse that. Please do not keep asking me for help because I will not respond to this. Please do not DM advertise me because I will not join your Discord server. So check out all the links down in the description below, obviously including my Discord server. You can also check out my Patreon. I can also check out all of my YouTube friends down there, which is going to be CJ and Jeffrey. I will be adding more and more of you guys on there. So if you guys do want to become part of my YouTube friends, comment down below. If I see you active on my YouTube videos, reach out to me on Discord and everything like that. And I will respond to you and we can have a little chat. Obviously, I'm not famous whatsoever, so you can talk to me whenever you guys want. If you do need help, let us be a farbo. Please do not send me a direct message. But enough of that, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys did find this video, please please like the video and thank you guys very very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one